Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Dragon Age Origins. As always, I'm your Owen. Last time, we had talked to all of our party members, got to know them a little bit better, some more than others, some not as much. That's right, I'm looking at you, Sten. Don't, don't turn away from me. But anyway, that is done now. I could grab some supplies, and I probably should. I'm probably really going to regret not. <gasps> But I don't want to waste your time, and I think we should be fine for now. There will be a shop where we are going, so I'm not worried there. So we will gather our party and venture forth, and we are going to use Morgan, Sten, and for now, we are going to use Alistair. Yes. So we now are open to everything. As you can see, we can go back to Flemeth's Hut if we choose, or we can go back to Lothering. The party camp, like I said, is not really in a place. It's more just anywhere you go. Uh, Denerim uh, is somewhere where we will be going. I think I actually pointed these out before. But anyway, we are going to... You ready for this? And there are the randomnesses. Uh, no, there's no real randomness. We are going to the Frostback Mountains. We are going to see the dwarves. That's right, our last party member will be a dwarf. Uh, someone I just kind of got into in my last playthrough. But, uh... I really enjoyed playing along with him. He was a lot of fun. I'd like to see him through more of the game. And that's what I'm going to do after this random encounter. Will you stop eating? Oh, I'm hungry. Stuff your face at camp. For now, watch the bloody road. So, we've got some brigands that are threatening us. We can spring our own trap, we can listen and continue listening onto their conversation, or we can just kind of leave and, you know, just disappear. However, we're gonna want the experience, so let's spring our own ambush for a change. Enemies approaching. Whoa, okay, so there's quite a few more, and I'm kind of just gonna sit back a little bit and let everyone go do their stuff for a second here. And... Okay, so now that this is here, I'm going to throw a bomb. How many do we have here? We have three. So let's blow them up. And I'm going to keep just letting our current people push, because I don't see any mages. Although Sten is dead, which is an unfortunate. I shall do it. Shall be given. Um, for some reason, however. Right, then. Ooh. Oh, stunned. Not something I need. So, let's kick you in the nuts. Stun you. Can we please... Please. Thank you. Now, somehow, Alistair is quite well still alive. Not going to last very much longer. There are only a few more. He kind of just ran on his own, like a derp, but hey. Okay, so we got more people over here, some more bandits we got to take care of. I do believe combat is still technically going, so we still cannot raise Sten. that. Um, actually, you know what? We should pause. So we can turn that on. Pause again. Um, do you... Uh, there's not really anything I really want you to do. And you're the last alive, so I really don't want you to do anything. Alright. And I think we have ours still going. Yes, we still have our dueling. So hopefully this will help us out just a little bit. Oh yeah, that extra, extra fire or ice damage was very handy. Dear Lord, still more. Very well. Uh, definitely wasn't the guy I was hoping to go after, but oh, I'm out of stamina. 
health. Thank you. Ooh, I found a trap. And bam, there we go. Finally, we have killed everybody. Um, I keep forgetting I need to check. Um, I need to get rid of some injuries here. But that was a nice, fun encounter. Can grab some. Uh, what? Apparently, I don't have the trap sense to get rid of that. Come, okay, so apparently he doesn't trigger his own traps. Odd. Katara! Katara! Um, so we're gonna just dodge that for right now. And instead, I'm gonna break that. Because apparently I cannot disarm that trap, which is very sad. Very well. Barricades. Look there, a cunning trap. Can I, uh... No, I'm not able to disarm these. Like, it must be because my skill's too low. Oh, that is... I, I don't even know what to say after that. But now we gotta go back, find all these bodies. Ooh, what's this? Nice little statue of whatever that may be. Ah, here we go. Some bolts that we can sell. Some monies. Some elf fruit, which is always handy. Some more monies. Ash Warrior's axe. Some more monies. Another chest. With what some now? splint mail. Frost rock. See what I mean by uh, getting them as drops? So we don't have the stuff we are going to Shall need for uh, don't give them the advantage. making our ice bombs. Should we need it? Lesser injury kit, which we're going to use here soon, actually. Impossible. Oh! Think again. Impossible. No, oh, that is so disappointing. I never, I, oh, normally when I run a rogue, I don't have that problem, but I think I was just too focused on dealing with the bad guys. So, that is an unfortunate. However, we can now leave, but the first thing I'm going to do before we leave is we're going to check out the stuff that we got. We got, um, not using any archers. Um, not really using an axe. However, it might be better for Agrim, our dwarf. Um, and the mace, I doubt, will be as good because it's only gray iron. So we'll keep the steel axe just in case. I forgot to put my gloves on, so that was sad. So we're going to move that to junk. Splint mail, I don't think is that good. Again, Alistair isn't going to be around for very much longer. Yeah, it's just the same. So move that to junk for now. We haven't picked up anything new there. Haven't picked up anything really new there. Um, any randoms? No. And okay. So, now that that's all equipped and I have my extra backstab damage, let's go, um, let's go back to the world. I'm not going to save because uh, I'll just keep it, we'll save when we get to the next area. Luckily, it just kind of continues on. You see that little place we just passed? That's another DLC spot uh, that will be you can access after you've beaten the game. Um, depending on my financial situation, I may be able, to, I might very well get the DLC at some point in time, and uh, give it a shot. But that'll be something that happens after the main story is done, and that is still some time away. So now we have to be careful up here. I have died many, many a times here. Um, just an exuberant amount of times, and I'm not, I just really hate this next portion. And it really, I've yet to find a successful way to do this without losing people unless I'm well uh, into playing. And the main reason for that is it just I want to get my party as close as possible. More enemies there ahead. we go. Okay. About 
this person right over here. You. No, no. Hit her. Hit her, please. Yeah. I need to take her out. It's that didn't see what I mean. It's just that lightning. That mm, lightning. I have potions that I can use. Oh, I might have to use them. Now, this mage is annoying, and it's going to be annoying probably for a while. Um, I might even switch over to Sten real quick, and I, I mean, I don't have my main character's abilities mapped out, so that's going to be kind of a, a disadvantage there. Uh, but thus my first death there will probably be a lot more there'll probably will be probably about six or seven of them right here I might even have to lower the difficulty for this battle I hope not well anyway we do have these potions uh, these potions of grounding which uh, like I said elixir of grounding increases user resistance to electricity damage for a short time not very long but thus they do Um, I could, however, turn Morgan into a spider. That'll give me another melee. Um, other than that, it's it's mainly I want to rush. I want everyone to rush the uh, the mage. So we'll see how this goes. I'll try this again. Um, hopefully, I can get that in. So I just want to get close enough for these guys. And then as soon as these spawn, I'm going to pop on, like, okay. I wish I had, like, oh, I do have an area of effect axe derp. I have grenades. So let's see, can I throw an acid? Oh, yes. But I don't have them actually aggro. That's kind of awkward. About time More enemies ahead. Logan sends his regards. Okay. So first off, let's Kaboomy you. Okay, so that draw the echo for that. Let's get over here, I shall do stun you, and then heal. Blast. Okay, so unfortunately, it shall be done. we have lost everybody yet again. However, we took out the mage. Oh, that hurt me too. Or, well, didn't really hurt me, but... Heal! Oh god, I'm out of potions. Gosh darn it! That adventurer right there is a pain, and I have no way of getting rid of him quickly. With, without ignoring the... Mage. And if I ignore the mage, everyone dies of electricity damage. Quickly. Uh, well, I guess the next option is to uh, stand back and try and help everybody. But like I said, oh, it's that freaking electricity that kills. It's the mage. It's the mage just does massive damage. And my mage doesn't. I mean, I think that she could. Um, like I said, maybe I'll play around with that a little bit. I don't really need her to be much of a, like, a debunker right now. I just need her to be damaging. So, let's go into our, uh, tactics here. Let's see what other tactics we can have. So, instead of vulnerability hacks, why don't we have you use... Let's see, we got lightning, disorient, horror, drain life, winter's grass... Let's do, let's have you do lightning as well. Okay. So, let's make sure everyone's abilities are set. You've got yours set. You are injured, so I need you to actually use a injury kit. And then I want you to sustain... 
You know what? Let's have you do powerful swings. Because uh, I think that'll work. And Alistair, actually, you don't have anything good for your Templar. Um, let's do shield cover. Or no, not shield cover. Um, we want you to do shield defense. Because your shield ability allows you to not take as much of a defensive bone, uh, or an attack penalty to that. Um, I don't really need him to do threaten. I don't really need him to do indomitable. Okay, let's try this out. Let's try this build, because, you know, why not? <clears throat> let's get as close as we can to them before they aggro. We just aggro them up, and then I'm going to run back. This is going to hurt me. Okay, and then I'm going to throw a... F you know what? Uh, when thrown, this bomb explodes with frost, dealing cold damage to all creatures it hit. Alright, so it doesn't really do anything besides the cold damage. So let's throw a firebomb out. It shall be done. And then let's do this again with a flask. I kind of want to take out that big bounty hunter. Okay. And then finally, let's do it again with a freeze bomb. Very well. Oh, I couldn't dodge that. However, Alistair's still alive. Just barely, though. Alright. Let's go! Oh, I've survived, but I'm like horrid. Yeah. Oh, that combo! Oh! Oh, that combo! Ouch! So we got a little closer there. <sighs> uh, I'm probably... I might even just cut out a bunch of these deaths and, uh... <laughs> you know, do a little montage video. I'm determined to get past this part, though. Without changing the difficulty. I don't want to have to change the difficulty. We got a little better there. I did have to use all of my grenades. However, it wasn't electricity damage we had a problem with that time. It was actually fire damage. And we do not have anything that will stop fire damage or horror. We did get unlucky with a couple mental saves. I think all three of us got stuck with it. I really don't want to just pass these guys up. I want to do the dwarves first because I want to get the dwarven character. Once we get the Dwarven character, I'll be happy. Okay, so, first off, you needed to use a Lesser Injury Kit. And then you also needed to activate... Let's see, what else does Indomitable do? I know it, it prevents you from being knocked back and stuff like that. Oh, it, it just makes you do more damage. Same with uh, Powerful Swings, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, we lose it. So, actually, you know what? We will put Indomitable on him. Oops, sorry, I just scratched my thing. Hopefully that'll help him out. Um, we are going to put Shield Defense on you. Yep. The waiting around part is awesome. And we were going to change your gambits. Or, not really your gambits, but... Uh, Now, I could go through and, um, switch out party members if I really had it. Maybe I can go all tank instead of, you know, maybe keep Morgan back and I just run, uh, maybe I'll bring out, uh, Killer, see if that helps anybody. Or maybe Liliana and have another ranged unit, stuff like that. I don't really don't think that's going to help me yet, so... Uh, that's kind of a thing. However, um, where was I going? Tactics, there we go. Uh, I turn this back on. Um, actually, why don't we instead Okay, what's the difference between horror and disorient? That's kind of what I need to know before I get into any of this. 
Okay. So, if we do Disorient, makes it, loses their attack abilities. Horror, however, um, but short range, that's kind of what worries me. But I would like to do that in order to f stop that mage. There's not really much else. Winter's Grasp. Um, it, I wish it would tell me the damage it does, but alas, it does not. Oh. Okay, so let's try. Let's try something. Let's do, um, horror. Whoops. Let's do, instead of nearest visible, why don't we do enemy nearest visible mage, use ability, horror. That way, if she's not surrounded, and her health and mana aren't needed, she will freeze any mage mages she has in sight. Or attempt to, anyway. I might even need to, like, do some back and forth training, so I don't know. Hopefully, I won't have to. Everyone's all set. Let's see if we can get this done a little better this time. Hey guys. Hey guys. Hey. First is Acid Flask. Second is Firebomb. Ooh, I don't know if I dodged that or not. Last is Freeze Bomb. But I want... Oh, I don't know if you can or not. Um, I want you to Go. quick heal. Yes. And I didn't get that bomb up in time. However, I think... Direct me. Heal. There, I directed you. Another battle, I see. Okay. Let us <laughs> Whew. Somehow I got through that. I don't know how I did that. Holy wow, that was awesome. Um I think I'm even going to keep the loadout I got for everybody. Uh, I have um, Anti-Mage, which is nice. I really should probably have something like that for Alistair and Sten as well. But the fact that they do not have enough tactic points really injures that. So, grab some more bolts. And, uh, because I really don't want to deal with this anymore. I'm going to save right there. And we're going to just put a little save here. I can't rename the saves, unfortunately, so I can't be like, oh, almost, you know, didn't have to, didn't have to lower difficulty. I have, I've had to lower difficulty many times in this game. I've gotten frustrated with times like that. Mainly because, you know, I don't know, I just, maybe I don't have the patience to, to deal with, you know, building up the tactics I need to get up or, you know, stuff like that. I have really slow patience when it comes to failing at a game, uh, and sucking at a game doesn't. So they just sort of gather near the doors. There's no laws up here at all, I'm told. So it doesn't really, you know, help me <laughs> to finish games when I get frustrated and rage quit. But alas, so here we are at Arzamar. I don't, or Frostback Mountains. I do believe we have a quest here, and I'm going to check this real quick. Try and actually go to the right direction you're on. There we go. It's nice that uh, they keep the Bloodstone Irregulars here at nice and listed here. Okay, so it's very hard for me to read here. We have Red Cliff, uh, Lothering, and the Denerim Alienage. No. So, Direction of Duty. We have. Oh, there is one. Tormag. Tormac. Here at the mountains. So, let's see if we found him. There's some more gossip here. 
Um, we do have shops here where we can sell some stuff. Um, I do have a little bit of time left, so I will do that. Um, I will not cut up my failings so you can see how frustrated I got. And hopefully, you'll, you know, you won't. Oh, we were keeping that for somebody. We don't. Nope. Nope. Anything over here? No. I do need to make more bombs, though. Oof. Demonic liquor. I just do not have any money. Um. No, I kind of want to keep those, but. Again, not really at the same time. Okay, so dwarf. What do we have over here? So, are you going to continue staring at me as if I am covered in eels? Eels would be something. Prudery. How charming. I expected paranoia. This is much better. I prefer to be stared at lustfully, if at all. Keep trying, then. Oh? Then shall I demonstrate an act or two, and you may tell me hot or cold? I'll save time. Cold. <laughs> you are a tease. <laughs> Too funny. Too funny. Um, ah, Aaron. Oh, you wish to talk to me? Truly, it's a courtesy for one so well-armed to notice a rogue and merchant. You live on the surface? Someone has to. Trade with other races can dry up. We surfaces are Orzammar's lifeline. Even if we're denied a cast, the assembly says we've turned our back on the stone. But they still use the goods we bring. Hypocrites. Maybe it'll change by the time my children are grown. How often do you restock in Orzammar? Twice a year. I'm confined to a trade stall in the commons, but I see enough. It's very closed in. My grandfather says I've lost my stone sense. I was born topside. I don't remember having it. Never mind, I should Best go. Best of luck to you. So apparently we are not allowed to shop here. Again, I'm flattered by your interest, great lord. Yeah, okay. Never mind, I should go. Best of luck to you. Um, I... Up there, we do have, uh... Something we are going to have to do up there. I do want to see if we can get to a shop here. What's to be done? What can we do? Just keep your head down, then. Before we get up into that direction. Oh, there's Farron. The, uh, the dude we needed to get a hold of. And I think that there are some... Ooh, a barrel. I will take your silver. Nope, there's Tornus the Deserter. And we have more of his people we have to worry about. Um... I guess I can give this one try. Being uh, how it works. But I'm going to save it. And we're going to oversave this one. Because that was just my just in case save. And then I'm going to try this. And then save again if I succeed or fail. And then start again next time. So, uh, Let's try this out. You have some kind of problem. I'm on here on behalf. I'm on. I'm an. I'm. An, uh, oh. I have something what to tell you. About? Um, I'm here to bring a bring you in for desertion. I worried this might happen. I hoped it wouldn't be you who came for me. I have no choice. Forgive me, warden, but I cannot go back with you. Okay, so I'm gonna back up. And uh. Toss out a grenade. Ah. Alright, so now that's done. And these guys are distracted. And kinda. No quarter shall be given. Begin the continue to just kinda pelt away at this guy. Now, I kinda wish that I could set Sten to, uh. 33% instead of there only being 10, 25, and then 50. I feel like a third of the health would be better than a quarter of health. Cool. It only took one try. And we got Frost Shear with the guild supplies we needed. And some Mune. So, did a bit closer on that. Um, is there any talking to you? I don't know. But I'm going to have to save that for next time if there is. So. Awesome, let's check out that new ring we got, and then I will save, and uh, we will continue this in the next episode. We haven't gotten a ring in a while.
This uh, is increases cold damage. Eh. I mean, it's nice because, hey, we're doing cold damage with frost weapon, which is probably going to be something that it will be on for a while. I feel like we're just so, our leveling is going so slow. It's so weird. But then again, I'm used to going, I'm used to going fast and easy difficulties. But anyway, thank you guys so very much for watching. Uh, sorry for that montage failing I had earlier. But, as you know, I'm not exactly a pro gamer. I never claimed to be. So, you get to watch and enjoy in my failures. But, as always, long altars along. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Happy gaming.